Hundreds of voters in Stark County are finding it a bit of a hardship when it comes to early voting. Just getting to the polling site can be a journey. CBS 4's Annalise Ortiz explains. Some say voting early can make life easier. It's a lot more convenient for myself, especially since I take care of my grandchildren. But this year, it isn't an easy process for all Star County residents. They have to travel to the courthouse to cast a vote for Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. This is the only early voting location, and for people who live in cities like Roma, it's a long commute. It's a 30-minute drive for Roma and the Gruya residents. 40 for San Isidro residents. Who is going to have the time to travel from one area to another when it's so far away? People showing up to vote in Roma's municipal election on Wednesday weren't happy about that. The majority, the, they get mad, uh, furious. Uh, some say that they won't be here on election day. Uh, they won't be coming in twice to vote. Star County Judge Eloy Vera says the commissioner's court agreed to only have one early voting site to save money. We're going through a financial crunch due to the gas price. Having one site open, it saved the county anywhere from forty to fifty thousand dollars. He says historically, people aren't driven to the polls when there's no competitive local races. The voter turnout is pathetic. We get no voter turnout. During the 2012 presidential election, nearly 7,300 Star County residents voted early. That's 23% of registered voters. Those who can't make it to the polling site will have closer options on November 8th. All our polls will be open on election day. In Star County, Annalise Ortiz, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. Judge Uloy Veda says in the next presidential election cycle, if more money is in the budget, commissioners will consider opening more early voting polls. Early voting ends November.